glad you're here. Thank you very much for joining me. It is Sunday, July 27th, 2025. I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Petroya, California, a small coastal town, a population of about 400 people. In Humboldt County, Northern California, lies near the Mendocino Triple Junction, where the Pacific, North American, and Gorda Plate converge, making it a seismic hotspot, part of the San Andreas Fault System and Cascadia Subduction Zone. It faces risk of strong earthquakes, tsunamis, and landslides. Late last night, at 11.50 p.m., Pacific Standard Time. There was a magnitude 4.3 earthquake about 65 miles, 106 kilometers west northwest of Petrolia at a depth of 2.8 kilometers or about 1.7 miles. It was a very shallow earthquake. Going to Google Earth, here we got the uh, coast of California, Petrolia. We have drawn out in light blue the Cascadia subduction zone. And then in red is the Mendocino Fault Zone. So going to the location of that magnitude 4.3, you can see it's not far from where they had the magnitude 7.0. Here is today's 4.3. And this is last year's 7.0, where they did temporarily issue a tsunami warning. Now that was on uh, December 5th. No one sent in reports to USGS Did You Feel It website saying they felt this earthquake. Um, if they did, it was probably light shaking. It was given an intensity level of 2. USGS notes that there is a 15% chance of a magnitude 3 or greater aftershock within the next week, 7 days, with a 2% chance of a stronger one. Now, once again, back on December 5th of last year, there was a magnitude 7.0 earthquake, which was about 39 miles or 63 kilometers west northwest of Petrolia at a depth of 10 kilometers, which would be about 6 miles, uh, causing strong shaking. Um, it was felt from Oregon to Salinas, California. Um, there was minor damage, cracks in roads and uh, Rio del roof damage and fern damage or uh, Ferndale, excuse me, a gas leak at Rio del School that was quickly resolved. And yeah, there was a lot of goods that were scattered across store shelves. A tsunami warning was issued and canceled by noon. Yeah, there was a lot of traffic jams during that um, evacuation because of the tsunami warning. A lot of people probably didn't even get the uh, tsunami evacuation alert and patrols had to go down to the beaches there in uh, San Francisco Bay Area uh, and warn the people to evacuate. But thank God there was no tsunami. But you know there is always the threat that a large earthquake could come. USGS um, often does not send out tsunami um, warnings unless it's a magnitude 6.5 or larger earthquake. That's just part of their protocol. The 7.0 earthquake did cause about $48 million in damage. And there was 356 injuries and landslides. We don't hear about the people that were injured. At least we didn't back then. This region has seen 40 uh, magnitude 6 or larger earthquakes within the last century, including five magnitude 7 events. A lot of them I got drawn out here. You can see 1980, a 7.3, also a 7.2, 2005, a 7.2, and 2022, a 6.4, and then we got a 1954. A 6.5 so people definitely need to be prepared for a large earthquake especially in this location the Cascadia subduction zone risks a magnitude 9 maybe even larger earthquake potentially causing catastrophic yeah death 
destruction, injuries, etc. Now the Mendocino fault zone is a convergent fault zone. It is what's called a triple junction. It's where the uh, Pacific Northwest, North American Plate, and the Gordo Plates all meet with strike slip um, along the San Andreas Fault Zone and Thrusting Fault. The Cascadia Subduction Zone. Um, and then we also got the San Andreas Fault Zone, which runs into the Mendocino Fault Zone. Drive shallow earthquakes. And the movement's about 5 centimeters meters a year. So that would be about 1.9 inches a year that these convergent boundaries are, are moving. This magnitude 4.3 reflects that there is ongoing strain with shallow depths, amplifying the shaking. The shallower the earthquake, the more it is felt over a larger area. Shallow earthquakes such as the magnitude 7.0 can trigger tsunamis. A 9.0 Cascadia earthquake could send a 90 meter wave to Petrolia's coast within 15 to 20 minutes. So that would mean maybe a 29, almost 30 foot wave could hit Petrolia's coast within 15 to 20 minutes. And if you don't get tsunami alerts, yeah, you're going to be caught up in that. Humboldt's hilly terrain risks landslides. In a six point or larger earthquake um, yeah such as what happened in 1992 yeah they had landslides that yeah caused road damages and things like that like I said there was also a 7.2 today's quake like other quakes are a reminder of the danger and nature is unpredictable faults never sleep so can the town of Petrolia outlast Cascadia's fury? Visit earthquake.usgs.gov for alerts and follow Cal OES for safety tips. Subscribe for more disaster breakdowns and watch my Thailand-Cambodia war video and the more quake video to see more chaos that's been unfolding. Petrolia faults are alive. Don't ignore the jolt. Thank you for watching. If you have any, have any safety tips, please put it down below. Please subscribe. Thank you again. Always be prepared. And I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.